Hi Capricorn, I'm Jamila and welcome to the Venus Experiment channel and to your horoscope for the full moon in Libra, round two, the very end of Libra, 29 degrees of Libra. So there's some sort of completion and resolution, some, well, I don't know about resolutions because this full moon is really about change and initiating this change in our relationships but for you it has a lot to do with your home and your career and this balance between your home and your career your public persona your how you put yourself out there in the world and your home and you've been initiating some re new beginnings some healing new beginnings in your home and now we have this culmination and this release point of how you see yourself in the world and how you put yourself out there in the world and that deserves to get rebalanced and reharmonized and shifted and changed for you and this change will really awaken your self-love that you get to really explore and innovate as uranus is moving through your fifth house of the inner child this playful kid inside so the purpose of this change or break in your relationships and your relationship with your home and your career is really initiating this new beginning for your self-love, for you being a kid again, for you really being able to be a kid. And there's so much focus on your childhood and your home and your inner child. So you get to awaken that inner child with this. Wow, that's so beautiful and so necessary for you because you've been going through such intense transits with Saturn and Pluto and the South Node all in Capricorn, really reworking the whole energy of Capricorn. And that's you, whether it's your rising or your sun, that's the energy of you is getting a whole remodel. So it's remodeling the identity of Capricorn, the identity of you, your identity, and your physical body as well, remodeling it. And there's a lot of pressure on it and things need to be released. So. This is a great time for super deep body work so you can outgrow these limiting structures in your physical body because that's what this is about. So with this transit for the next few months until August, this heavy duty transit happening right on your first house, right on your physical body and your identity, it would be so great if you could get deep body work restructuring your physical body like all the time for the next four months next three months so you guys have been going through it capricorn and the answer for you right now is in your partnerships in your relationships and putting some loving care and attention on your partners and your business partners and your relation all of your relationships and really nurturing them and caring for the, the ones that you love. That will be such a good outlet for all of this heavy duty transformation that you are going through. So you wanna make space for that transformation because this is a big one and know that you're not alone. Anyone that has Capricorn in their chart is really having to release a lot or outgrow a lot. And for you, it's in your body. So you get to heal your inner child, awaken your inner child to self-love. And also through this loving of your partners and your, and your, any relationship and nurturing them and caring for them. And this is such a great way to heal that inner child in you that you're in this healing journey of healing your home and healing your childhood you get to heal your childhood there's a lot of intense work going on for you capricorns and you can do it you can do it and make space and time for yourself to really let your body adjust to these changes because this is affecting you physically 
physical, physically, you feel this in your body. So you want to be able to release that or outgrow those limiting things in your physical body. So I hope you can and find that balance and harmony between home and career and relationships and the self. There's a lot of rebalancing here and shifting happening and the purpose is to awaken your inner child. Yay. Okay. So have a beautiful day, baby, baby Capricorn. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.